Hi, I'm Steph Horton. And I'm Lucy Bronze, and we both play for Manchester City. And we're going to answer your questions by drawing them on here. <laughs> First question. Describe your season at Man City. Here we are. Let's go. Right, I'm going to draw a bed. Because we keep so many clean sheets. Yeah, I'm going to draw stars because it's been <laughs> actually top class. Next question. How does it compare to the other title winning seasons? Okay. Um, well, I've never, I've never won the double, so I think it compares to me because I've got two trophies. No, not just one. That's the Continental Cup. It looks brilliant. <laughs> and I think for me, the fact that I was captain of this team and being able to lift the league trophy as captain. How do you draw the thing? The captain. <laughs> that one. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like the World Cup. Oh, oh and uh, actually, we had a lot of fans this year, which we've had the record attendance, I think. So these are all our fans in the crowd. Yeah. There's more than five, but yeah. <laughs> About well, four thousand every year. Tens of thousands. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that's been that's been pretty special, I think. Next question. What's been the secret to your success? Oh. That's why it's a secret. Probably the gym. <laughs> the gym, I think. Yeah. Some weights. How do I draw the running? The, I'll draw the training training field. Like we always say we say at City the leagues won on a Tuesday and Thursday afternoon when you're working in the gym and on the pitch, not necessarily every every weekend, yeah. is it? I say that Definitely be it. about people. The, th the things that people probably don't see behind closed doors is what made us win the league. I think. These drums are getting worse. <laughs> worse. I must have glasses. Who scored the best goal of the season? Okay. Scored quite a few, haven't we? So we'll stick with City goals. Man City. Best goal or important goals? I'm going to put them both together and I'm going for Jane Ross. Which one? Against Arsenal. At home? A little header. I don't know how to draw the footballs, just been funky foot footballs. And it went there. It's cross from Tony, Tony wasn't Duggan's it? Tony Duggan's crossed the ball. Sorry, Tony, you look not, you don't look great. I've got another good goal. Hmm. Played Chelsea away. Ponytail. Massive game for us. We knew that we needed to win to have any chance of winning the league. And Demi Stokes, our number three, just popped 16. up on the left wing and just hits one right in the bottom corner. He couldn't get any further in the corner, but for me, I think that was probably the most important goal, as well as Jane's, obviously. Sorry, Jane. And obviously, it's been good for Jane because she's, she's got a lot of our goals this year, so that, was, that got her off the mark and got her confidence going against a good team as well. Next one is, how do you relax after a game? That's it, sleeping. <laughs> sleeping and watching telly for me. What about you, Liz? Yeah, these... <laughs> <laughs> Eating. I was going to draw pizza, but I don't eat pizza. I don't know what I eat. I would watch. A steak? Like, towie and stuff. A steak, maybe? That's what I would watch. And... Yeah, I, I eat a lot, so probably <laughs> food. My housemates eat a lot. I live with Demi, so <laughs> the girl can eat for fun, even though she's tiny. So, so probably a combination S of all these, just chilling, Steak going and to chips. sleep and eating. Some so Broccoli, eat your vegetables. <laughs> Moving on to food, what is your favourite food? For me, it's fajitas or my mum's Sunday dinner. I don't think my picture would do my mum's Sunday dinner any justice, so... I don't see you practice that one, do you think? It's a shell, like an oyster. But the oysters aren't my favourite food. Is it a, a shellfish? Fish? But we'll draw, draw, draw oysters. A Portuguese one. That's kind of the Portugal flag, isn't it? So it's Portuguese shellfish, which is called conchilias, so that's Portuguese shellfish. It's like Pictionary as well. what you did there. <laughs> it's like Pictionary. I can't draw Sunday dinner. 
Best game. Get Yorkshire pudding. Best game of the season. Is that next question? From Luke Walker. I don't know if I know what to Best game. Uh, Chelsea at home. Chelsea at home. What sort of M C women's F C two? Chelsea. No. Chelsea Lady Football Club. Attendance. So Four that was the game. Five hundred. We sealed the league basically in that game and we actually played pretty good as well and we played at home on our beautiful stadium that everyone always talks about and we love playing at it because it's unbelievable. I just remember the full time whistle and we all, because the benches are here. Can you put the benches here? I don't know. Yeah, so the benches are here. And everybody just ran on the pitch and we all just kind of just were circling around here dancing and singing Championi. So I think for us that would be probably the best game just because that's the one that we see the, the league with. And obviously Chelsea are, are a good team and they won the season last year. So to do it against them kind of meant a bit more as well, I guess. That's, that's outstanding, that is. Mini Etty had. Not to scale, guys. But obviously all the, all the fans. Both City and Chelsea fans, so it was a good game for women's football in terms of attendances, in terms of us winning. Two good teams full of quality, so yeah, really good game. Uh, next question from Sean Reedman. What cars do you drive? I've just got a new one, so... I this is my I'm... car. <laughs> I don't mean? own a car at the minute, as I'm cycling and walking everywhere. And plus or I live... lifts. <laughs> yeah, or getting lifts over in all the little cars. It looks like a bus. It's actually and Steph like a bus. drives a bus. <laughs> Basically, take the whole team, no, Mercedes. I'll draw a bicycle, even though I don't really, I don't really <laughs> ride it at the minute. But... Lucy, like, literally lives two minutes from the training ground, so I'd be disappointed if she drove into training. Yeah, so I've got rid of my car, I don't drive nothing fancy. Keep it simple. Go green. Next question. The best thing you own? For me, it'll be probably my house. Just recently just bought a house with my boyfriend, so I think I'm a bit OCD as well, so I like to think that we spent a lot of time doing the house up and that's probably the... The, mo the best thing I own, but probably the most expensive thing. Mine has to be oh. my little dog that I just got a couple of weeks ago. She's only little. This is actually a pretty good drawing of her. And she's got little sharp teeth. She is you called... You were doing this, didn't you? She's called Nala. Spelt with an R for some reason. Because my favourite film is The Lion King. And she is a little white West Highland Terrier. And she's three months old. And actually, my MBE medal. I have to put that in. And I put a cape on her since it's Halloween, and I dressed her up as a man for Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you been playing? Playing football, I'm guessing. God, how long have you been playing football for? Uh, I mean, I've got a big brother, so I played with him. When, as soon as he started playing, I started playing. So I'm going to draw myself in a nappy. I think that's what nappies look like. <laughs> and I had really dark hair when I was younger as well. I think I started playing when I was about four, and literally in the yard where we used to live with my dad. And ever since there, uh, and now I won't tell you how old I am, but long, long times. So that'll be about in total about. 24 years, so I'll let you do the maths. So there's my big brother and there's me playing with my nappy on. I was probably about three when I probably kicked the ball first, but when I actually started playing for my brother's team, I was about five or six in the north, in the northeast as well. Not far from Steph. Yep. Next question from Debbie. What will you do when you retire? I will never retire. <laughs> Yeah, we're just going on as long as we um, can. <laughs> I've not really... I, I got my degree, so I've got a degree. That's... Uh, in, the, in sports science, so I could go into doing 
things like that, coaching, got my FA level two badge as well, but I've not really thought about it. I'm trying to focus on uh, football a lot at the minute and just get, get all these trophies in the locker and hopefully live off that for a bit. <laughs> Um, for me, I think um, I'd like to maybe go into some sort of coaching or um, being a manager potentially. But also, I love uh, doing the media side of stuff. So, being in front of the camera and um, being interviewed or being some sort of ambassador, I think that's hopefully not thinking about it just yet because we've had an amazing season. I'm still quite young, so, but definitely something definitely involved in football. Or, when I'm really old, I could own a bar. In Spain or in Portugal, that'd be cool. Somewhere hot. I'm sick of this weather in England, especially Manchester. Always rains. So that's me. That's me little bar, bronze bar. That's, that's what it's called. In Barcelona or something. Bronze Barcelona bronze bar. Triple B. Uh, from Morgan, who is your idol? Oh, it's just not even. Who's that? Great. Peter Crouch with a long neck. Sorry, Beckham, I'm the... Uh... Oh, that's not mine. Ultimate hero, David Beckham. Always used to watch him when he's grown up, and it helps that he's nice looking as well. But I think, as a footballer, unbelievable. I think mine was, sticking with women's football, Kelly Smith, just because she was one of the best, if not the best player at some point in time. And she's, sorry Kelly, I've, you've got like a bonky leg or something. But at one point, she was the best female in the world and she's English. So I think that's something that English girls can strive for is to be as good as what she's been and to achieve what she's been. And that's someone that, I don't know what her hair looked like then. A little ponytail. But yeah, so Kelly Smith's probably up there for me. Scoring important goals. That combination, that is a yeah. Smith. So that was our last question. So thank you. Thanks. Thanks for all the questions, and uh, hope you've enjoyed the answers. Thank you.